Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. Here's a great tip to help you with the top of your backswing. If you like this tip, make sure you give me a thumbs up, click on the red button to subscribe to my channel, then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips, and please tell all your friends about my tips. You know, there's a lot of other people out there that need help too. In this tip, I'm talking about the lead arm at the top of the backswing. So, you know, there's a lot of people out there trying to force the lead arm straight. Maybe they've seen some pros doing that. Maybe they've had a lesson and they've been told to keep it straight. That is something I in no way want you to do. Okay, if you start looking at pros, there's some pros have the arm straight. A lot of pros have it bent too. Just take a look at Scotty Scheffler, okay? New guy on tour, just absolutely dominating. His arm is totally bent at the top of the backswing. Another great example would be Freddie Couples, right? Doesn't everybody love Freddie's swing? Yeah. Arm is super bent at the top of his backswing. My arm bent at the top of the backswing. I've always had it bent. I can't force it straight. I've tried. Can't do it. So I stopped thinking about it. What is important is does the arm straighten back up by the time you hit the ball? And you know what? <laughs> Mine does. <laughs> Same as Freddie. <laughs> Same as Scotty Scheffler. <laughs> okay? We're not doing a chicken wing at impact. So just because it's a little bent here, that doesn't mean it can't stretch back out by the time you hit the ball. So why I don't like people working on this and trying to do this is because over the years when I've got people and I take them to the top of the backswing like this and I tr feel their arms right here, they are absolutely locked with their arms. So I ask them, you know, are you trying to keep that arm straight? And they're like, yeah, I thought you had to keep the arm straight. They are absolutely forcing this arm dead straight, and that is locking everything up right here. And that's why I don't teach that. I want you nice and relaxed. I want you not hitting the golf ball with your arms in any way. So we're going to the top, we're setting it up right here. My arm is extended, but it's not all locked up. I allow my wrists to hinge fully right here. Okay, now at this moment in time, I'm hitting the golf ball with my legs and hips, my big muscles, not the small muscles. Okay, that's how I'm doing it. That's how pros are doing it. Okay, we're using our legs and hips to hit the ball, not our hands and arms. So I know there's lots of pros that keep the arms straight. I get it. I've seen it. I've measured it. <laughs> there's a lot that keep it straight and there's a lot that bend it because I've measured those too. Okay, so don't worry about straightening out the arm. I'm trying to get you to loosen up. So if you keep trying to force the arm dead straight, like that, it's like you're gonna lock everything up. How could you possibly relax your arms? They're already all locked. Wrists are probably locked too. Okay, so let's start to loosen up a little bit. You know, a drill I gave in one of my previous tips was, I will get you perfect lag, literally, in two minutes. Two minutes, yeah. Perfect lag. And I've proven this time and time and time again. How do I get people to do that? Because everybody seems to want lag. I show them how to get it in two minutes and they don't do it. It's like, okay, well, <laughs> there's no faster way to get it than this. All you gotta do is break your arm, okay? So you go like this. You take your club back like this, break your arm right there, see, broke, and rest the club on your neck right there. Hit the ball. I guarantee in two minutes you'll have perfect lag. Because you're not all locked up. If you break your arm like this, your arms are relaxed. Now you can fire the body first, allowing the club to follow. What does the word lag mean? It means something is trailing behind something else. So if you keep going like this, expecting to get lag, that's never gonna happen because you keep moving the club before your body. You need to reverse that. You need to move your body and then the club and then it lags behind your body. 
okay? But to get that, just loosen up your arms. Okay, so good little drill. Take it back like this, literally touch your neck, right there. Then hit your shot. Touch your neck, hit the shot. Okay, when I say touch the neck, that gives you feedback to tell you where the club is. I'd like the club to be parallel, okay, to the ground. That will fully hinge your wrists right here. Don't let go of the club, okay? It's, we're breaking at the elbow. So we're going like this, touch your neck, hit your shot, okay? Like this, right here. Nice and relaxed, touch your neck, hit the shot. Okay, it's a drill. You don't have to do that forever. I'm showing you that if you totally relax your arms, you will get perfect lag. That's because you're to break your arm, it can't be all forced dead stiff and locked up. So that will start to relax your arms. So if that, if you've been somebody working on trying to get lag for years and you haven't got it because you never will if you're trying to force it, okay, you get lag because you're loose. Your wrists are loose in your swing. Okay, that's how you're going to get lag. So if I show you a drill and you go out and video it and I get you perfect lag in two minutes, then why would you not keep doing that? Get used to that. Maybe you do that for, you know, a week or two. You go like this, hit every ball, you know, on the range or at home. I'd be doing tons of practice swings. Do that for a week or two. Then what you do, when you go back like this, instead of touching your neck, you just keep it a little bit off your neck. How's that? Well, you know what that's going to look like? If you don't quite touch your neck, that's going to look like a pretty good swing. So watch. I'll go like this. Just don't quite touch your neck. See? And into the future, if you find that you're here and you want to stretch it out a little more, you go a little bit more off your neck. But do not get back to forcing that arm straight. I'm telling you, this is years and years. I've been teaching since 1991. And this is a huge, huge problem and why people can never loosen up. Because I ask them and they tell me they are forcing that arm dead straight because they thought they had to keep it straight. And yet great players, a lot of them have it bent. So why don't we try bending it? Try relaxing, do the drill, start loosening up you'll sense that your arms will loosen up and that's what i'm saying if you loosen up your arms and you're not hitting with any with your arms you're gonna have to hit it with something so you're gonna have to start using your legs and hips and that's what better players do all right so take a look at your arms see if you're trying to force it okay do the drill get used to the sensation and then over time just keep it a little bit off your neck and then pretty soon you got a nice looking backswing that's relaxed instead of all locked up and trying to hit it hard with your arms. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.